some news now that's getting a lot of attention on the business courier web and social media sites. GE Aviation lands a $480 million contract with an international airline. The Evendale-based plant will build jet engines for Air New Zealand. The engines will power eight Boeing 787 Dreamliners. The deal also covers maintenance, repair, and overhaul of the engines. You'll no longer have to put too much effort into biking around Cincinnati. Cincinnati Red Bike rolled out its new electric bikes this past week. The bikes are powered by a battery with max speeds of 17 miles per hour. There are 100 of them joining the fleet of about 400 regular Red Bikes, and they cost the same, 8 bucks for a day pass or 15 bucks a month. The newest brewery in the Tri-State is officially open. High Grain Brewing is on Plainfield Road in Silverton. High Grain is a sustainable, eco-friendly establishment. The brewery planted trees to offset the carbon created from cultivating and shipping the grain used in the beer. The brewery also buys its electricity from a wind farm and uses a high-efficiency geothermal HVAC system. The nation's largest or longest running free culinary arts festival just keeps getting bigger. Taste of Cincinnati returned downtown with new restaurants, food trucks, and food entrepreneurs. This year's crowds of 550,000 tied a record. The Roebling Bridge will be the centerpiece in this year's Blink Light Festival. This rendering shows what it'll look like. The festival starts October 10th. The iconic bridge is also the focus of a photo contest. You don't have to be a professional photographer to submit your shots of the bridge. The winner gets a canvas print of the picture and gets a rare photo op from the top of the South Tower.